Hey guys, and welcome back to Maria Antoinette TV. I am Maria Antoinette. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. And let's get started. Today I am going to be sharing with you some of my biggest woes of being a professional licensed cosmetologist. I do a ton of traveling and here recently my whole kit was stolen. So I'm gonna show you how I'm able to take this full kit, break it down so that can be a carry-on. Here recently I was traveling for a gig and um, my luggage was stolen off the carousel. Yes, everything gone. My clothes, underwear, my kit was in that luggage. Everything was completely gone. And it was a very hard lesson to learn because not only did I have to go scramble and buy what I needed to complete my job that I flew in for, but I lost a lot of very valuable and important things to me that will take time for me to replace, like very expensive shears and the list goes on. So now I have since learned my lesson and I've got some great tips for you if you are a traveling hairstylist or a woman who just can't part with her favorite shampoos or conditioners or tools. I got you guys covered. So my first step in all of this is to think about what you're going to do. How many heads are you gonna be doing? What are some of the things that you're gonna be dealing with? Hair extensions, clip-ins, heat tools, natural hairstyling. All of those things play a huge part in how you should pack. You have to think about it like you're packing with your clothes. The least amount that you can pack to do the most effective with your job is what we're going for here. We don't wanna put ourselves in a situation that if our kit happens to disappear, that we are literally spending so much money to replace it to do our job. All right, so in your normal kit, you're gonna have your hair pins, some elastics, and some bobby pins, right? Those are things you're gonna need. Here is a great tip. I'm gonna use this bobbin box. Yes, bobbin for sewing. You pick it up at your local craft store. Literally, they cost like, two or three dollars. And I put all of that into all of this. One easy square container, because most of our luggage is square, you always want to pack to fit into that space. So I have my hair pins, my bobby pins, I even have hair bands, and I have two sections for my elastics. So I'm able to now take all of this and get rid of it. So that's one thing that's now compartmentalized, right? We were able to take it, Get it down to this one, easy to use, accessible, just simple, right? Next is about our brushes and our tools. We can get caught up really easy with overpacking things that we just don't need. So being able to minimize it is what we're gonna go through right now. So as you can see here, I have a nine row brush, I have a rat tail comb, I have a small tooth comb and a wide tooth comb. I have another big comb, I have a pick, and I have a teasing brush. Now, I love using teasing brushes, especially for getting the hair taunt to go into um, a high bun. You know, you can also use this to dub over for your baby hairs because we are professional. We're not gonna be using a toothbrush. Now we're gonna take our handy dandy toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. You can also use the tobacco comb to build in volume. This is an amazing brush. So do I necessarily need this brush? I don't. So now this brush, is not necessary, but it might be something that you still wanna bring with you. So we'll see, we'll see what the job entitles, but you might be able to get away with just using this brush to do everything that you need. If you take a nine row brush in this brush, you can definitely eliminate this because this is a bigger face, so you're able to do more work across the mass of the head, and now you're able to do a lot of tight work with this and a lot of gathering with this one. So we've now eliminated one of our brushes. Let's talk about all these combs. Really, like, do we really need all of these combs? I tend to go with a comb that is heat resistant, such as this one. I can follow my flat iron with this. I'm able to come in and part with it. But I also like to bring in a rat tail comb, just in case I want to do some detailing or pulling any type of tangles inside of here that's already gathered into a ponytail or a bun and just kind of straighten all of that out. So that means I can get rid of this third comb. Now, some will say that I don't need a pick, but hey, I work in natural hair and we all know that you need a pick. So we have now eliminated all of those combs and brushes down to this small section. Let's talk about our products, okay? There are certain things you're gonna need to make sure that the style looks finished and complete. We have a holding spray, we have some finishing spray, we have a heat protectant, water bottle. These are all things that we're going to need. 
And you're probably like, how are you gonna get that to be a carry-on? Well, there's a beautiful thing called travel sizes. We're able to minimize the size of those full-size products and bring them down to smaller size products. Another great tip that I have just implemented is shipping my full-size products if I'm doing like a bridal party and there's a lot of hair to be done. You don't wanna risk running out of your product. So shipping my product in my sharp items in the mail to the location in which I'm going to be going. So I don't have to worry about my expensive shears coming up missing. They're now insured even more. And yes, my stuff was insured and I got it back. But this allows me to not have to worry about it and I can still go on with carry-ons only. And I know that my full-size products in sharp items are gonna make it to where it needs to be. Of course, there's no substitute for clips, okay? You're going to need your clips. There's no way that you can go and style anybody without good clips. So I love using the croc clips. They adjust to the amount and volume of hair that you're gonna put in there, amazing. You probably don't need as many, but it also depends on how many people's hair you're going to be doing. We can't minimize clips, but you know, they don't take up too much space. You also wanna make sure that you have a cape. If you're doing anybody's hair and you're a professional, you wanna make sure that you're covering your client up. Regardless if they're in their robe or if they're not dressed completely yet, nobody wants hair falling all over them. I don't even want hair falling on me and I do hair. So you wanna pack a cape. Capes are small. This is something that you should definitely have in your kit and you should definitely be carrying on your carry-on. Now let's get into the bulk of what our kit consists of and that is our tools, our heating tools. You guys have no idea how many tools are needed and maybe you do. Maybe you're a woman who just likes to have all her tools with her. So we have a curling wand, okay? This baby is very important. You have a narrow side and a wide side. This gives you a lot of curling options. It also is a very quick way to curl someone's hair. You definitely need a curling wand, right? You want a curling iron. You're probably like, but you can do the same thing with the curling wand, you can, but sometimes you like having this clip here and uh, it's just something that you like as a stylist. You will need a flat iron. And yes, you're probably like, but I could just take a flat iron and do everything. You can, but when you're a professional, you wanna get a variation of curl size, barrel size, and everything else. And of course, you're gonna need a blow dryer. You might wanna bring a diffuser with you in or a portable hooded dryer. This is amazing. This converts into a hair dryer. You simply put this section of it over the nozzle of the hair dryer. This is something that I travel a lot with, especially with styling natural hairstyles. So you have to start thinking about what am I going to do? What hairstyles am I trying to achieve here? And you start to think about what tools you need and don't need. Well, if you're anything like me, I cannot travel without any of these tools, period, point blank. I don't care if somebody is just like, oh, I just wanna twist, I need them. I need to have my heat tools. They're very important just in case you need to make a quick alteration and don't have time, you need your heat tools. But who's got space for all of this? I don't, I got you guys covered. In comes this powerful little baddie here. This is a complete kit of almost all those tools, minus the blow dryer and the flat iron. If you guys know of a kit that has a flat iron attachment to it as well, please share because your girl would love to have it. This has everything in it. It has my heat glove for all of my wands that are inside of here. It has one base and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, options for me to do everything that I need to do when it comes to someone's hair. I even have space where I can now throw my clips in there. I told you I had you covered, right? So we're now throwing some clips in there randomly. I think you guys are seeing where this is going. Everything that I'm showing you will be listed below. This kit is something that I found on Amazon. It is the Parwin Pro Beauty. You guys, it's amazing. It's a game changer. It literally is everything that I need right here. So now I go from all of this oddly shaped to another square item, my blow dryer, and a flat iron. When doing hair on the go, it's very hard to know what type of space you're gonna have. None of that is typically controlled. So it's always best to make sure that you have yourself covered. So another fun tool that I picked up, and you've probably seen makeup artists with something like this, is this waist apron. But this one is actually made for hairstylists. And don't fret, I got you covered. It will be linked down below. So there's a space for your full size items. Me personally, I like to put in my bobbin box there so I can have all of my little tools right in arm's reach, right on the hip, shall I say. There's space for the combs as well as 
all of my brushes, my pick. I can even put my clips on here. I have a zipper so I can put business cards. I can put my phone. Everything I need is right on my hip. Now you're probably wondering, Maria, okay, so you got your kit down. It's very compact. What do you do to carry it all? I love these mesh bags. I'm able to see what's in there, and I'm also able to put a lot in there. So it's basically like I'm using packing cubes to store all of my stuff needed for my kit. I'm able to put everything that I need in here, literally everything. And we are packed and ready to roll. How simple is this, right? This already came packed up for us. We have everything we can desire in this box. And in this bag, we have everything else that we need in a handle. We can simply go to set. We're ready to go. You can't beat that. So let's go slay some hair, shall we? We are now ready to go, and we don't have to worry about our luggage not making it. We know that everything is safe and sound with us. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys would like to hear more about some things about the industry of hairstyling, how I got into the industry, school I went to, or any tips like that, comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I need you guys to hit the like button. Give me that thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and make sure you check out my latest video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.